everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home and welcome to my Christmas decorating video. This is going to be our first Christmas in this house so we are really excited and I'm decorating for Christmas a little bit earlier than I normally do. I normally decorate for Christmas about the week before Thanksgiving or a couple days before Thanksgiving but I decided to set it all up a little bit early this year. We were just ready to have all of the Christmas decorations up because it's so cozy and it takes so long to set it all up we wanted to enjoy it for as long as possible and I also wanted to put up this video early just to give you some inspiration for decorating for Christmas if you're starting to shop for decor and stuff this video maybe can give you a few ideas let me know down in the comments if you've already decorated for Christmas or if you haven't then let me know when you're going to be decorating for Christmas do you like to set it all up before Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving I know everybody has their own preferences I'm glad that I decided to set up Christmas early this year because it made the living room so cozy after dark we have all the lights off and just the Christmas lights on and it's just really cozy to hang out here in the living room and it just makes me so happy I've got a new Christmas tree this year, which I'm really excited about. This was sent over by King of Christmas, and this is their six and a half foot queen flock artificial Christmas tree with 650 warm white LED lights. I've never had a flocked Christmas tree before, but I've always wanted to try one out, and I love the look of a flocked Christmas tree, and it goes really well with the theme that I'm going with this year. And I was so excited that it was pre-lit because that's always the one job that I dread when I'm Christmas decorating is wrapping all of the lights around the Christmas tree. But having a pre-lit tree is just a game changer. I love it. I don't think I can ever go back to not having a pre-lit Christmas tree because it made it so much easier. So I got it all set up. It was super quick and easy because it's just three pieces that I had to snap together. But then of course what takes the longest is fluffing the tree. This can be quite monotonous to fluff a whole entire tree, but this one wasn't so bad. But with having a flocked Christmas tree, the flocking does kind of go everywhere. It gets all over the floor and all over your shirt and everything, but it's worth it because I really love how cozy the flocked Christmas tree looks. And that metal and burlap star that I put on top of the Christmas tree, that is from Hobby Lobby. All their decor is currently 50% off. I went there a couple days before I started decorating just to walk through the Christmas decor. There was a couple things that I wanted to get. I needed a new tree skirt and some stockings. And the theme that I'm going with this year is kind of a woodland cozy theme. And if you see plastic on the outside of some of the windows in this video, that is because this is a renovation house. We've been working at fixing up this house for the last seven or eight months now, and we're currently working on the outside of the house doing new stucco and stuff. And we filmed that whole entire renovation process. So if you're new here, be sure that you go back and watch those videos because we completely transformed this house. It's a night and day difference to how it looked eight months ago. After I fluffed the tree, I got that tree skirt put around the bottom of the Christmas tree, and I got that one from Hobby Lobby the other day. I thought it went perfectly with the woodland cozy theme that I'm going for, and I also got four matching stockings that match the tree skirt that you'll see here in a little bit.
Now I'm going through all of these Christmas decorations, picking out which ornaments I want to put on the tree. And I'm trying to keep the tree a little bit more minimal this year. Like I said, I'm going for the woodland cozy theme. And I believe all of the ornaments that I used on the tree this year are from Hobby Lobby. I got some white pom-poms, some pine cones, these sticks that have pine cones on them, little deer antlers, some acorn ornaments. Just trying to use items that go with that woodland cozy theme. It was the perfect cozy day to decorate for Christmas because it was rainy, cloudy, windy, and cold outside, which doesn't happen very often here in Southern Arizona. And it was that kind of weather all day long while I was decorating. So it just made it feel more like winter time and Christmas. And it just really put me in the mood to decorate for Christmas. And after it was done raining, we even got a full rainbow at the back of our house. When I'm decorating a Christmas tree, I usually start with any sticks or stems that I'm decorating with. I will stick those in throughout the tree, and then I will add in the ornaments that are going to be the majority of the decor. Like if you're going to be adding in Christmas balls, usually those are the majority of the tree. But this year I used these pine cones as the majority of my ornaments. So I scattered those throughout the tree, and then I added in those antlers and acorns, and also some of those white pom-poms. And then I just stopped because I didn't want to fill up the tree too much because like I said, I'm going for more of a minimal look this year. And now I'm adding the garland over the mantle and I was really excited to add this because back when we installed the mantle, I knew that come Christmas time, I wanted to put a really big garland over the mantle, but I totally forgot to get any of the spray snow in a can to flock this garland because it doesn't match the tree, but I totally forgot to get the spray snow. So you will just see that in a future decorating video. We will go ahead and spray this garland then. But I love how this looks up here. This is a nine foot pre-lit garland from Best Choice Products. And I'll try to link as many things as I can down below. Now I'm going to hang up these stockings and I grabbed some stocking hooks from Hobby Lobby. They had these black ones there. They came two in a pack, so I got two packs of those so we could have four. They were perfect to stick here on the mantle and then I hung up those new stockings that I got that match the tree skirt.
Okay, so now I'm adding one of these 26 inch tabletop Christmas trees here at the mantle by the fireplace. These are pre-lit, they're really great quality. This one is from Best Choice Products as well. I'll put a link for it down below. And this one, just like the garland over the fireplace, I'm going to need to flock this as well to match the Christmas tree. But yeah, we'll get to that later in a future video. And I'm almost thinking, looking at this from a distance, that I might just flock the little Christmas tree on the mantle and not flock the garland just so that it's kind of every other. But we'll see. I like how the dark green color looks above the fireplace. But here Jalen's just helping me to rearrange the furniture a little bit. We decided to kind of scoot everything back and make the living room a little bit bigger. There was a lot of empty space behind the couches, so we decided we might as well scoot everything back. And I also wanted the rug scooted a little bit farther back because we want to burn some wood here in the fireplace later this winter, but I don't want the rug to be right up against underneath of the fireplace. I want there to be some wood floor there just in case we have any sparks come out or anything like that. And I just stuck my leather armchair over there by the door. I tried to put it on the other side of the fireplace, but it just wasn't quite looking right over there. So I just ended up leaving it in front of the sliding doors for while we have this Christmas tree set up. If you watched my last decorating video, you saw that I took the mirror out of the alcove and I took the picture off of the mantle. So I was back to square one with both of those spaces. So I just quickly put up that sign that I had in storage because I needed something to put on the mantle. And it goes really well with the Christmas decor, but I'm still on the hunt for a mirror to go above the mantle. And I would use the circle mirror that was in the alcove, but it was just a little bit too big. Here I'm hanging some wreaths on the inside of the front doors. I decided to hang some on the inside this year as well just so that we could enjoy them inside these are flocked pre-lit wreaths from best choice products they're really pretty I'll have a link down below and I have a couple more of these that I'm going to be putting outside as well and at first I tried to hang them up with a command hook but that didn't go so well so I ended up using these black hooks that I just hung over the door and I think these wreaths might be a little bit big for the inside of the doors I'll just leave them up for a couple days and see what we think I may need to get something that's a little bit slimmer but these are really pretty and they add a touch of Christmas over here at the front door Okay, so we're going to add some decor here to the shelves in the kitchen. We'll do a little bit of cleaning and then I will show you how everything turned out so far. And like I mentioned previously, we'll do some more decorating in a future video here in the next week or two or later on this month. I'm not sure quite when that will be out yet, but I do want to do a little bit more decorating because I do have some more decor I want to add outside. I also have my manger scene, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit. That is my favorite Christmas decor that I own is my manger scene. It's really special to me and I want to set that up on top of the piano, but first I want to paint the piano with black chalk paint. So I can't set all that up yet until I have my piano painted here in the next week or so. So just stay tuned for videos coming here in the future. But as I was unboxing it all out of the boxes, I realized that both of my camels, I had three camels and two of them broke during the move. I thought I had packaged them up good enough after I packaged up all of my Christmas decor in the rental, but apparently I didn't package the camels good enough. 
the box must have got thrown around in the move and one of the back legs broke off of one of the camels and then the other camel his neck broke off I don't think we can fix the back leg on the one camel but my husband said that we can probably glue the neck back onto this camel so Hopefully we can get them fixed so that I can get my manger scene set up and we can get all of the rest of this Christmas decor put up. Stay tuned, we will do all of that in a future video. I also can't put any decor outside until they finish up all the stucco, which if you watched the last video, you know that they are starting the stucco on the outside of the house this week. you enjoyed this Christmas decorating video if you did give it a thumbs up I hope that it gave you some inspiration for when you go to decorate for Christmas like I said I'll try to link as much stuff down below as I can if you're new here we would love to have you subscribed and I will see you in a couple days with a brand new video bye